In this video, we are going to learn how you can create a fillable template and merge Google Forms responses. So let's take an example that you have created a form using your Google Forms account. Now you want that whenever the form is filled, automatically using the details of the form submission, a new document should get generated into your form stack documents using a template and then the uh, details of the form submission along with the document URL should be added to your MS Excel spreadsheet. For that you need to integrate Google Forms with form stack documents and then with Excel spreadsheet also. So how you can integrate all these software applications using Fably Connect? For that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as create a fillable template and merge Google form responses. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens Action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever a Google form is submitted, automatically using the details of the form submission, first a document should get created into your form stack accounts and then the same document URL should be saved to your Excel spreadsheet also. For that, first we need to integrate Google Forms with Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Forms. Select the trigger event as new response received. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Forms. So let us read few of them. Google Form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So follow the below steps in order to get the new response. Go to the form on, you, on which you want to take the submission and make the last question as required for the trigger. Okay. So I'll just take you to the Google Form which I have already created. The form name is Pabli Education Academy Registration Form and it is for Java Developer Course. Okay where I'm collecting the details of the participant, that is the name, his email address, phone number, course start date and course end date. Okay. Now here, as it was mentioned in the instructions, we have to make the last question as required for the trigger over here. It is mandatory to make it required to capture the responses in Pabli Connect. Okay. So I've made it required. Now let's move to the responses tab and here we can find we don't have any responses, zero responses. So first let us collect the responses by filling up the form on the name of a participant by clicking on this I button and let us give the name as demo name, email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's give the phone number over here and let us select the course start date as 1st of October and course end date as uh, 31st of October. Okay, and now let's click on submit. So here we can see that the form is filled. Now let's move back to the form and now here we can find one response. Okay, now as it was mentioned in the instructions that the Google form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So now we are going to integrate Google Sheets so that the form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So click on this three dots, click on select response destination. Now it is asking us to create a new spreadsheet or you want to select the existing spreadsheet. So we are going to create a new spreadsheet and the name would be Pabli Education Academy Responses. If you want to change the name, you can just change it over here. And let's click on create, linking to spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is linked. Now to access the spreadsheet, we have to click on this green sign view responses in sheets. Okay, and here we can see that the same form responses are captured over here. Name as demo name, his email address, phone number, course start date and the course ended. Now we are going to integrate this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. For that we have to just come to extensions, click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. 
Now you have to install Pavli Connect Webhooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed, I'm just going to close this window. But remember, after installing Pavli Connect Webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Now come to extensions once again and this time we have to come to Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Now here it is asking for the Webhook URL. So we have already seen the Webhook URL in Pabli Connect. So let's copy it and we have to paste the same over here. And now it is asking for the trigger column. The trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the Webhook URL. So here you can see that I have the data from column A till column F. So my trigger column will be column F over here. But if you have the data till column I and you want the data to be captured till column I, then here you have to give the trigger column as column I. Okay. And now let's click on save. Send test. Test data sent successfully. And now let's click on submit. Setup configured successfully. Okay. Let's close this window. Now again we have to come to extensions, public connect webhooks and this time we have to click on send on event. So why we are selecting this option just because next time whenever the form will be filled and the details will be captured in Google Sheet over here, automatically public connect is going to capture the data. We don't have to link these details again and again. So make sure you have a tick mark on send on event option over here. Okay. Now let's move back to public connect. And when we scroll down here we can find the responses received and the same form submission details are captured over here. The name of the candidate or the participant, his email address, phone number, course start date, course ended and even the spreadsheet details are also captured. Okay. So now we want that using these details automatically a new document should get generated into your form stack documents using a template. For that let's scroll down and here we are going to integrate form stack documents with Pabli Connect. So open this action window and here choose the application name as form stack documents. Select the action event as merge document. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now it is asking for the API key and the secret key. Log into your Formstack documents account and you can find the API key and secret key from here. So let's click on this hyperlink. Okay and here we can find the API key as well as the secret key. So I'm just going to copy it and I'll be pasting the same over here. In the same way let us copy the secret key also. And we'll be pasting it over here to create a connection. And now let's click on save. And now the form stack documents account is connected to public connect. Now as we have created a connection here we can find all the documents that I have created in my form stack documents account. So here you can see the document name as appointment letter, certificate, gate pass and test. So here let's move to our form stack documents account and here also you can find the same documents. Okay. So now I want to create a document using my certificate template or certificate document. So I'm just going to open the same over here. Let's move to document builder. So here I have created a certificate. Okay. And here I have added an image. It is for Pabli Education Academy. The certificate is proudly presented to and here I have given a parameter in the curly braces for the name of the participant for successfully completing Java developer course from from date to and here I have given the end date. Sample name director. So in this way I have generated a certificate. You can generate a certificate or any document as per your requirement. Now if you want to insert some merge fields over here. You have to just click on insert. Click on merge field. Just give a name to the field and the field will get added like this. Okay. And this in the same way we have added the name field over here. And from date field and the to date field. So these fields will be used to merge the data from Google form submission. Okay. And then a new document will get created. And once you have created the document, simply click on save document. Okay. Now I want this particular document to be used to create a new certificate. So I'll be selecting the certificate template over here. Okay. Now uh, it is asking download document. So I'm just going to select it as yes. And now it is asking for the name from date and the to date that needs to be entered into the document that needs to be merged in the document. So we have already got all these fields from the Google form submission over here. So now we are going to map these details. Let's scroll down for mapping. Simply click it over here. Come to the response of Google forms and from the drop down you have to select the name. In the same way let us map the start date and here we will be mapping the end date. Okay. And now as we have mapped all the details let's click on save and send test request. 
Okay, and here we can see the responses received. Success as one over here. And here we can find the document URL also. It means a new document is created. Okay, so now we want these details to be added to our Excel sheet over here where I am collecting the details of the name of the participant, his email address, phone number as well as the document URL or the certificate URL. So we are going to uh, integrate this particular Excel sheet with Pabli Connect. So let's scroll down, click on this plus sign, add action step. And here we have to choose the application name as Microsoft Excel. Select the action event as add row to the worksheet. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking for the access so let's scroll down and click on yes to give away the permissions over here. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Excel account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now as we have created a connection here we can find all the spreadsheets or the workbooks that we have created in our Microsoft Excel account. Okay, you can find all of them. So my Excel sheet name is Pabli Education Academy and the sheet name is Participants. So I'll be selecting the same over here. Let us find Pabli Education Academy. Now as I have created a single sheet in this particular spreadsheet that is participants, it is automatically captured over here. But if you have created multiple sheets from the drop down, you have to select your specific worksheet name. Okay. Now here it is asking for the details that needs to be entered into these columns. That is name, email address, phone number and document URL. So now we are going to map these details that we have got from our trigger response over here. Okay. As well as the document URL that we have got from our action response over here. So let's uh, scroll down and let us map the name from trigger response, the email address also. Here let us map the phone number. And here let us map the document URL from form stack documents and it is the URL. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the responses received. It means the data is added to our Excel sheet. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our Excel sheet over here. Okay. And here we can find the name of the participant that is demo name, his email address, the phone number and the document URL also. So I'm just going to copy this document URL and let us open it in the new tab and let us check whether a correct document is uh, saved over here or not. So let's open the document. Okay. And here we can see the document as Public Education Academy certificate is proudly presented to and here we can find the name of the participant as demo name for successfully completing Java developer course. And here we can find the date as 1st of October till 31st of October. So in this way, we can see that a correct document link is saved in our Excel sheet. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now as we have created an automation, this is a one time process. Next time, whenever the form will be filled and the details will be captured into your Google Sheet, automatically a new document will get created into your form stack documents and the same data will be saved to your Excel sheet also. So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, let's move to the form once again. And here we are going to just enter the details of some other participant. Let's give the name of the participant as dummy participant. Email address as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the phone number. And this time I'm just going to select the course start date from 15th of October and the end date will be will be 15th of November. Okay, 15th October to 15th of November. And now let's click on submit. So here we can see that the form is filled. Now we are going to check our Excel spreadsheet. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and here we can see the new details added. Participant name as dummy participant, email address as dummy at pablitudes.com. Here we can find the phone number and here we have got a new document URL. Let's copy it and we are going to just check whether a new document is created for dummy participant or not. Let's open the certificate. Okay, and here we can see that this particular certificate is generated for dummy participant and it is from 15th of October to 15th of November. So in this way, we can see that a correct certificate is generated and the URL is correctly saved in our Excel sheet. And in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. 
So let's move back to Pabli Connect and now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Forms and Pabli Connect so that whenever the form is filled automatically the details are captured in Pabli Connect. Then using those details we have created a new document in our form check documents using a particular template. And then we have added the same details to our Excel spreadsheet along with the document URL also. And in this way, we have learned that how we can create a fillable template and we can merge Google Form responses using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.